Luca asks, alternatives to bank savings account with time locks. Let's say I want to dedicate a portion of my savings to Bitcoin, and I want to be absolutely sure I won't be tempted to use them. What would be the best way to do it? I could create a wallet and put the keys in a difficult place to access, like a trusted person I previously instructed not to give them to me until 2030, or in a location difficult to access, a safe deposit box in a country I don't visit often. Or maybe I could use a time lock. Is this a good idea? Is it safe from future upgrades? Is it easy to use? Or do you have any other suggestions? Oh, this is a tricky question because all of these sound both kind of cool and interesting and uh, great ideas if you have uh, very little self-discipline. Um, and, you know, I'm the first to admit that I have pretty low self-discipline. But... All of these ideas are really bad for a number of other reasons. So let's take them one at a time, and I'll make funny um, jokes about how bad they are and give you some scenarios to understand why they're bad, and then we can uh, roll it up. Create a wallet and put the keys in a difficult place to access. This is the old pirate technique for hodling. That's where you take it, you put it in a treasure chest, and you bury it in an island so you make sure that it's not easy to find. The most likely outcome of this is that you are so successful in burying your treasure that no one ever finds it again. That is the ultimate hodl strategy. It's a very, very altruistic hodl strategy because what you're saying is, I'm never going to use my Bitcoin so as to help the Bitcoin value for everybody else increase. Thank you so much for doing that. That's really amazing of you. Um, if you throw away your Bitcoin, you're guaranteed not to spend it prematurely and also benefit the rest of the community. The best way to put your Bitcoin in a difficult place to access is to use the so-called burner address, in which case the Bitcoin is destroyed forever. You don't want to do that. A trusted person you've previously instructed not to give them to you until 2030. I don't know what kind of people you hang out with, but um, a person who I consider trusted today, I would probably extend that trust for six months. I would not extend anyone trust until 2030. Uh, probably not even my relatives. You know, a lot of time between now and 2030. In, in 10 or 12 years, uh, you know, people can develop um, addictions, uh, gambling problems, things like that. So the trusted person may either decide to uh, spend it on your behalf, because that's the same as hodling, or... Um, when you go to them in 2030, they're like, Bitcoin keys? What Bitcoin keys? Um, so then you have a bit of a problem. I wouldn't do that either. A location that's difficult to access, like a safe deposit box in a country you don't visit often. Well, yes, but if you don't visit often enough to do some basic uh, auditing and inventory of what's in your safety deposit box, you may discover that your safe deposit box has been shut down, drilled, confiscated, or something else. So that's a bit of a problem. A time lock. A time lock is probably the best idea, or at least it's the least broken idea, because it maintains the fundamental properties of control of your keys uh, while introducing discipline in a programmable money kind of approach. So you can use a time lock and you can move uh, your money into keys that you control, but in the script impose a time lock. You can construct uh, time lock transactions with a variety of wallets or manually, um, and you can do that. Is it a good idea? Honestly, I don't think it is, um, because <sighs> if you do this wrong, right, um, and it doesn't take much to do it wrong, you know, one digit off on your time lock, and it could be, oh, it's they're locked until 2130 instead of 2030. Oops. And there's no going back from that. The moment you execute that transaction, locked forever. Um, so 
it, it's very, very risky. I, I, at most, I would do it in short increments and keep renewing it. So I'd be like, okay, I'm going to set it for six months from now very, very carefully. Um, and you probably want to do this with, with some test transaction first to make sure you know what you're doing and you can actually recover it. And then maybe in six months, sweep it into another account to give it another six months, kind of like a rolling uh, time lock. Is it safe from future upgrades? Yes. It is not because I can predict what future upgrades are, but because um, there's a fundamental design principle in Bitcoin, which is that uh, the developers work very carefully to not invalidate any form of unspent UTXO, no matter how weird it might be or uh, whether it depended on some kind of weird bug, et cetera, et cetera. So every change made is backwards compatible, so you never invalidate unspent coins, um, and all coins are safe from future upgrades. That's been the principle until now for 10 years. I don't see that changing. Um, it's a fundamental principle, um, and um, I think it's going to be safe from future upgrades. It's not easy to use, however. There's a lot of risk in trying this. But good luck to you. I'm looking in the chat, and lots of people are liking the idea of time locks and short-term time locks, but I wouldn't do it with my funds. Uh, I haven't done it with my funds. Um, I use various other security uh, mechanisms, including multi-sig and um, seeds with passphrases and secure storage locations, all of which are you know, standards-based techniques for... Uh, reliable and secure storage of seeds, but um, I don't use time locks. Uh, I would be too scared to use time locks at the moment for fear of messing it up. And um, you know, good luck. <laughs>